Hello there people universe, this is the Hoobian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video we are going to be continuing work upon the clock tower. So as you can see over there I have finished the roof and I've added some decorations to the side of it because it was looking a little bit plain. Uh, but today we're not going to be jumping over there, actually yes we will. But we're building a museum and I was thinking what could I put in the museum. So we've got a couple of items together. Um, and this is going to be what's going in the museum as well. This time machine clock. The time machine clock that was uh, that allows time travel to be made possible. So yeah, we're gonna be keeping very close guard of that in the museum. And I thought, hey, what's the point in just having it in my room and item frame when the entire world could go and see it? So ignore that hole, by the way. That's the project that Laurie's working on. He's not joining us today uh, because we don't really need any help with it. Uh, we should just be able to get through this straight away and so let's go and say hello to the doggos so the doggos should just be in here and they in fact are so uh here you go rosie here you go that's the wrong thing lello here you go Gracie and here you go loyalty so yeah um, I'm not gonna bother bringing any of them with me today because we're working very high up and I would rather not risk it and so yeah the thing is done the roof um, you can't really see it from down here maybe I'll pile up at the end of the video but the view from the top is outstanding it's absolutely superb so let me show you that first actually and i've taken a screenshot from the top as well so hopefully in like a couple of like years time when it's closer to completion maybe it will be complete in a couple of years time this community i don't know but when it is close to community uh completion then we'll be able to like take another screenshot and compare it so let's just go up here so i've marked where the museum is with some red concrete so if we just look at the walls going up uh, so here is where we're going to be working today. So we're going to have a bunch of uh, expositions going around here. And yeah, it should be pretty good. So let's just keep piling up to the top. Or pi uh, piling up. Flying up, I suppose we are. But yeah, I love I love this elevator. It's not the quickest elevator in the world. But I think that's a more fun way to do it. And obviously bamboo's just come out. So we're able to find a whole lot of uh, bamboo to make the scaffolding. And yeah, it's pretty great. So this is the view. This is the view that I'm talking about. And this is the roof, by the way. This is why it was really complicated, because you had to try and get it, like, to go with stairs and half slabs and stuff. And I couldn't quite remember the pattern. And yeah, it was, it was pretty complicated to build this. It took a while, but other than that, it's fine. So down there is Laurie's estate. Down there is just how it normally was. But, like, <coughs> it's got uh, the beach there, but it's slightly smaller. So I decided to destroy all that terrain down there. So it's just got a river directly from the sea to this river down here. And that leads to a waterfall over there. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be soon Laurie's estate. So it's going to go all the way over to there. So if you see that little pile there, right where my crosshair is. Uh, you can see it standing out a little bit better now. Um, that is going to be where Laurie's estate stretches to. So it's going to go all the way around. It's going to meet with the mountain, that mountain there. So yeah, it's going to be a bit huge. I will be honest. And I did build a swimming pool down here, so yeah, I did sort of build something out of video, but it's only a small thing, it's only a swimming pool, it's really simple, I don't think this was an entire video's worth of uh, stuff to do with it. So yeah, we just got a random swimming pool down here to jump off, and yeah, this looks fine. Um, so this is some of the stuff that we're going to be putting in the museum. So let's go and grab all of this, and we're also, we're also going to be putting... Uh, the Omega Bow and the Master Sword in here because like I don't really need a Master Sword anymore like for a while especially when it was sort of like really risky going around the place and I was like said no don't interfere with this world because it's a video world I don't really need it it's nice to have but I think this this is the sort of thing that goes in a museum so yeah I've got some item frames with me got some glass to make the actual exhibits I've got some wood 
and I've got some leather so we can make some item frames for some stuff as well. So the first exhibit is going to be right in the corner down here. I'll light this up out of video, don't worry. Uh, let's just add some more lights down here though. Might as well just start now. Uh, let's have two down there as well. I just don't want any mobs to spawn up here because otherwise that's just, that's just going to be really annoying. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing the downstairs uh, at a laser date. It might even be worth just doing it a video because it's not that interesting. Uh, it's like you're just going to be a desk and like uh, saying like go to the red for the museum and stuff like that. And like how much it is to go up there. So yeah, it's not that interesting. Uh, so I might just build that out of video. And this is the corner that I've chosen to build the first exhibit. So the first exhibit uh let's just get the master sword one out of the way with for now because yeah we might as well just do that so um let's just go with this down here we can do it in angle as well like so and then if we do uh the one where he's got the hands together i've already gone past it but like so then we put the master sword in there then we get the glass and then voila now we have got the master sword on display for all to see all around the world and could we get rid of this we could i'm thinking of doing that hmm i didn't really think of that before but it sort of blocks the view a little bit of um why did I just do that? Um, sort of blocks the view a little bit with the actual sword itself, but I think that it looks nicer rather than having a big bulge just in the corner. So let's then go. I had to pile up, I think. Uh, just go on the bottom one rather than the top one. And should we add some stuff? Should we add these on there as well? Or is it fine? Actually, I think that adds to it. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. So this is sort of the style that the exhibits are going to be in. Oh wait, no they aren't. Oh, I forgot the piston. Okay, so uh, let me come back in just a minute. Uh, and then I will be back and I will have a piston with me to do this fancy thing. Okay, so I've gotten the piston as you can tell. So the way that I was going to do this, and oh, I'm going to have to destroy this glass now. Uh, but the way that I was planning to do this, and I had completely forgotten if I'm honest, and I just broke part of the floor, um, was to <coughs> do it so... I don't know whether you know this, but armor stands can actually be placed inside glass by, if you put a piston like so, extend it downwards, put the second block of glass on, extend this downwards then put another piston on this piston extend this then voila we have now got an encased master sword in just one pile of glass and I think this looks way cooler look at this yeah like you, oh, you can barely see the master sword if I do it like this but if I do it one higher then voila Nope, too low, too high even. And this is how the exhibits are going to be. So some of them can obviously be a lot shorter, like the armor stand ones, they can only be two. Uh, but yeah, this actually looks really nice. Um, so let's go and do the next exhibit. So you can't do item frames in that same way. I've learned that. So what we could do is just do a little bit of a um Laurie's old armor down in this corner here which is what this enchanted leather armor is um so let's just go and get this piston down there let's go and place it actually we might just be able to do it like this if i'm honest oh yeah but i forgot to place the armor on it <laughs> that's a crucial step uh so there we go, like that. Then we're also going to have mild armor in here, uh, the diamond armor that I've got in my hallway currently, because once again, I'm never really going to use that, so much so I just have it in the museum. 
this is sort of part of the history of the world and yeah this is looking pretty nice so you can just put a cap on it like there and voila this is item exhibit number two so let's put some signs down there actually i won't do that right now i just want to get the exhibits done first so this exhibit down in this corner can be the clock the time machine clock uh the clock that makes time travel possible uh so if i just run over here to go and uh grab the crafting table then i can make an item frame put the time machine clock in the item frame obviously i can't have it um two thingy but um i can't just have it in one block either but i would say <coughs> this is looking pretty snazzy i think maybe if i put a torch in there with it then that would look really cool so yeah that's how this part's going to be um and then the final exhibit over here will be my old armor maybe wait what about the omega bow the Omega Bow, actually. Oh, yeah, actually. Actually, 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 actually. We could do... Oh, I need more sticks. We could do a second item frame in there. And have my bow in there with it. I think that could work. The only trouble is, is then there's not very much light in there. But I could always put the light on the floor, like so. There we go, that looks good. Um, so yeah let's just get my bow out so it's inside this iron shulker box we've got some just random stuff in here that I always like to take with me like my spare diamond sword uh, a saddle in case I come across a really nice horse and of course the omega bow in case we are under attack by Johnny Gat but I don't think that will happen really because if, you, if you've seen the last couple of uh, or a couple of videos ago even when Johnny Gat invaded and tried to steal Christmas, I think we sort of showed him who's boss really. And I think that we were sort of able to do that really well. So yeah, this is exhibit one, two, three. Uh, exhibit three done. Um, so now the final one, we'll have to travel back home to go and get um, by just going all the way down here. Actually, oh, I should have jumped off the top, shouldn't I? It's a bit too late for that now, I might as well just continue going down because it's going to take a while. Oh, it's going to take a while anyway, like with the height of this thing, I think it's 88 blocks tall, um, we found out. And yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's going to take a while anyway. And like 50 blocks tall, I think we did the walls. So that's 55 blocks just in this. So that's 33 blocks tall, the top is. Uh, that bit so yeah it's a little bit ridiculous uh, but yeah so let's run back and let's go and grab the armor off the armor stand and that armor stand I'll try and find something interesting to go on there I probably won't like I don't know because I like having something there just on display but I like having it in the museum as well so I'm not quite sure I don't know I think, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something for it because it looks quite nice there. And I just like having a thing there on display. What the thing will be from now on, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out though. Um, so yeah, let's run over here. And sorry Glass, but you're going to be quickly broken away. And that's not what, what I want to do. I want to go like this, hello old armor, and like this, it looks so lonely in there, I'm just going to block it off, like so, and I think I, I've made way too much glass for this video, because I was expecting to have to make um, the thing, and I think I'm going to sneeze, so just a warning, <laughs> sorry but I did give you a fair warning, well it wasn't a fair warning, because I had a think and yeah I didn't really give you that much time to respond but hey there we go that's how things work um so yeah let's run up to the top here 
and let's keep putting the uh, stuff in the exhibits because that's how we do things here um, so uh, I forgot to show that I've added these things to it so it just makes it look less bland because one shade of brick all the way up it makes it look a lot nicer and I've named it Big Tom I'm not sure whether I told you that but I did um, and it's named after one of our friends that was playing the world when I was designing this so they were like, oh yeah, can I have the name for it? Can I be named after it? So, yeah. They are now forever eternalized in this building. So let's grab the armor. Let's put it on there. Let's grab the glass. Let's grab the piston. Uh, I'll try and get an enchantment on this sword at some point. But I probably won't be able to get any like I hunted so hard to get that sword and it's really not necessary to have a sword that powerful so I think that's cool just for people to see rather than me using it because let's face it like it's overkill I can take out most things just using a regular diamond sword and I already have uh half slabs on me I didn't realize that so yeah this is exhibit four this is the final exhibit actually no uh, this is exhibit 5 because you've also got the bow haven't you uh, so yeah this is roughly how it's going to be then I'm going to add something in here I'm not entirely sure what maybe we can make this like sort of like a mini restaurant in here as well because sometimes like, you go to restaurants and they've got all, like old artifacts and stuff on the walls and things so maybe I can do that that's always a possibility but yeah so this is the end of this video. This is not the end of the clock tower though because it is not yet complete. I'm not sure whether I've showed you this, uh, but I will now. So in the next video, me and Laurie are going to attempt to finish this thing. And the thing that's not complete about it, and you can barely see it, there's only one piece of glowstone and there needs to be two. So we're gonna have one piece of glowstone each and the first one to make it all the way up here, we're gonna I'm gonna build parkour and stuff like ladder parkour to try and get up here. And like you're gonna have to shoot things with arrows to make other things happen. And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit crazy. Um But yeah, it's gonna be absolutely awesome. So yeah, hopefully that'll be a fun thing to do in the next video. And then it will be finally complete this clock tower. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the next video will be linked in the description once it is online. Uh, which will be next week. And yeah. I thank you all for watching. Goodbye.